Tomb Raider is the newest big blockbuster to hit cinemas. It's in cinemas right now. Here's my review for Nova Stream Network. I'm Alistair Lee. So Tomb Raider is the newest reboot of Lara Croft. The character that took the 90s by storm. Uh, it is probably the last really good action film of the 90s. And when I say really good, I mean really bad. But so bad, it's really good. So this is the new uh, reboot based on the Square Enix version uh, of the game which came out in 2011-ish. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm going to say 2014 probably is more accurate, 2015. And it basically rebooted Lara as more of a down-to-earth relatable person. Uh, so this Lara is young, she's in her 20s, her dad's been missing for seven years, she has no idea where he is, uh, and so she signs, finally signs the changeover papers and follows the little breadcrumbs that he's left to travel to this uh, island in the middle of the Devil's Sea in Japan uh, to try and find out just what happened to her father. Now this film is very British, uh, so if you are in America and you don't get British humour, probably not going to enjoy it, because it's very, very British. Uh, it's very fun, it's very funny, the action scenes are pretty intense. Uh, Alicia Vakinda stars as Lara Croft and she is phenomenal. I loved this performance. She absolutely nails this character. She gets the humour, she gets the conflict, she gets the subtleties, she gets the badass, kick-ass woman. I love it so much. She's incredible and I really hope we get more of these films because she is just worth the price of admission alone. Uh, so... There are some issues with the film. Pacing is an issue. Uh, it starts off like you're really into it and then she gets to the island and it kind of slows and I'm like, why are we slowing down? What is going on? <sighs> but by the third act, it ramps it right up for a finale that surprised and impressed me. Uh, it hints that it's going to go down a certain road in a certain way and it doesn't. And I, I could almost see the conflict with the filmmakers and the studio going, we want this and we want this. And whoever made the decision to go the way it goes, thank you, because it was amazing. Now, I went in with a very low expectation of this film. Uh, I enjoyed the first two and I wasn't sure how a gritty reboot would translate with today's audiences, especially in wake of films like Wonder Woman and Black Panther. This really is just perfect. The action is great, the hero is admirable, and you really root for Lara. You really want her to succeed and become the amazing Lara Croft uh, that we've known from video games and pop culture for the last uh, 15 or 20 years, however long it's been. 25 actually, I think I read. 25 years, sorry Lara Croft. One thing I did want to say though is, continually throughout the film, I had to remind myself that she's not a superhero. So there were times when she was falling and getting hurt and fumbling and I'm like, what are you doing? She's not a superhero. So she can't just self-heal or deflect bullets or anything like that. She's a human being. And she, like we see an MMA fighter boxing thing at the start, and that kind of tells you this is the extent of her skills. Uh, so I think they did a really good job uh, purveying that. I was definitely, there was a moment in her first kill where it's long and drawn out and she's upset and you can really see the weight that this has on her. And I, I enjoyed that touch. I'm so glad it was there and very appreciative for the filmmakers for putting that in because it made her feel real and very relatable. I don't think it's going to score any new fans. So if you haven't seen the old ones, you haven't played the games, you're not a fan, 
you might just enjoy it. You're probably going to pick it apart and see a lot of more flaws. Uh, but if you are a fan of the series and you are a fan of Lara Croft, you are going to love this film. There are so many scenes where I was like, bam, straight out of the game. Bam, straight out of the game. But not Assassin's Creed straight out of the game where it doesn't make sense. And you're like, well, why are they doing this? Uh, they seem to have figured out uh, this is a movie based on a video game property. So let's make it a movie with video game elements. And for me, it worked. Uh, I love this movie. I'm going to give it a four out of five stars. Uh, it is in cinemas right now. So make sure you head out and see it. Take your friends. Um, it's definitely worth the price of admission. Now I know what you're thinking. What is happening behind you? It is a WIP, folks. I have so many posters. I have so many collectibles. I'm still trying to arrange it in a way that I like and that looks great on the camera. So this is the best lighting, <laughs> lighting setup I have now. So please stick with me. It is going to get better. Um, but as always, make sure you read Jay's review on our website, nervousstreamnetwork.com. Check his written review out. It's quite fairly a bit different from mine. Uh, but for all of your Tomb Raider movie, gaming, TV, entertainment news, make sure you keep it locked on our social media pages. So Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, hit us up, NovastreamAU. And as always, check out our monthly magazine. Uh, this month, looking at Jessica Jones and Black Panther. I am Alice Salith, and I will see you next time.